What's going on all you gamers? Here we are in the newly released demo of Outriders. And today I'm going to be showing you an absolutely great way of gearing up and getting quite a lot of money or resources in the demo and I think probably the full release of the game as well once it's out. So if that interests you, then stay tuned. That's coming up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls. So yeah, if you're trying to level up or gear up should I say, or maybe just sell off loads and loads of gear so you've got a lot of money and resources and such for leveling in Outriders, then this will definitely work in the demo. It obviously carries over to the main game and I think this will probably work in the main game once it's out as well, unless they tweak stuff. But yeah, you're gonna have needed to do the kind of intro as such and you'll need to be at the first base and once you're here, what you're going to do is you're going to go to press your back button and you want to go to the quest map. And you're going to want to make your way just over to here. Quests available for pickup, Terra Infirma. Now to do that, what you're going to want to do is make your way through the facility. And as you can see, this is the actual person that sells you your clothing or your armor. Make your way past him go all the way up here just through here he says as he's turned the wrong way and you'll see these two guys just guarding this over here so you're going to go in and visit Shira. so what you're going to want to do is pick that top one the situation on the front line looks bad. You've been gone too long. I noticed. The reports of cash. And press accept. It's the least I can do. I want to hear the moment our search parties turn up anything about McCain. From here, I would suggest just tracking it. And then whenever you press your up on the D-pad, it will pretty much tell you exactly where to go. few moments later right so once you do this bit just completely leg it until you get to the sections where you're actually fighting people oh, once you've done that pretty much just make sure you're refilled on your ammo and you're all good and then you're going to make it over to this part Right, so once you're here, this is going to be the general premise of what you're trying to do. So you want to get all the way to the end, kill the boss as fast as possible. You're going to be regening your health from kills. So if you think you're in trouble, just kind of back off a little bit and get kills of the adds to regen your health. What you're going to want to do after that is leave at least one add up, but I would say several for myself, just to give you a bit of leeway. And that way you'll be able to kill the boss and then hopefully get quite a few drops as such. Now, if you don't feel like you're strong enough to do this, just remember, drop it down a world tier just to get the resources and stuff and gear yourself up or just coordinate with a friend. Now, I always start off with a little ground pound and then pop up the top here. Oh, he says as he completely botches up this stuff, but yeah. Make you up the top here, and this will give you a little bit of um, breathing time as such. You're going to want to do exactly the opposite to what I've done, and actually <laughs> make sure you stop him by using interrupts and such. It's because I'm recording. But yeah, once you've done that, take him down. And as you can see, he's he's only dropped one this time, but he dropped something. And the ads usually drop quite a lot as well. Like I said though, just make sure that you're not killing all of them. So have a little look at your radar. And whenever it is time to kind of die, just do it. It's all good. Pick up whatever you can and then just let them mow you down 
Now that definitely wasn't the best run because I think we only got one or two things. It's usually between two to six items and I'm getting blues at the moment very, very often. And like I said, it's just a demo. But there's no reason this can't work in the full game. And I think especially if you're trying to get all of your classes geared up for the full game, this will work really, really well. And I think it could actually work in the full game as well, as long as you can use it. So say, for example, you're world tier 15 and you wanted to farm here, as long as you can come back to it later on, which you probably can, I think this will be a really good place to get resources from. So dismantling stuff, selling stuff and gearing up. But as always, guys and girls, I hope that's helped a little bit. Um, it's helped me. I've got an absolute abundance of inventory from this. So... Yeah, I think it's worth it. I'm going to do it on most of my characters, just so that I'm ahead of the game for when the actual game comes out. But as always, guys and girls, I hope that's helped. Take care. I'll see you on the next day.